Moin Moin, liebe Xbox Dynasty Community. Das Spiel, was wir euch heute zeigen, braucht eigentlich keine Vorstellung mehr. Tales from the Borderlands, Episode 4, Escape Plan Bravo ist heute unser Thema. Und wir haben den neuesten Teil angespielt, äh, haben uns mit euch auf Pandora getroffen und reisen jetzt zusammen zur Helios Station. Viel Spaß! darkest moment in any hero's tale usually comes just when things are finally falling into place. Our unlikely heroes have discovered the unfinished, top secret project of the doomed Atlas Corporation. The Gortis Robot. Searching for the robot's missing components made the dream of the vault seem closer than ever. Even though the former middle manager was still haunted by the demented ghost of Hyperion Pass. Destroy that body while it's still young. Unfortunately, any dream can quickly turn into a nightmare. And this nightmare's name was Valerie. Fortunately, Valerie's killing spree was interrupted when another dangerous adversary was suddenly revealed as a powerful ally. Now, supported by a legendary gladiator, their search continued through the icy wastes of the borderlands to a forgotten Garden of Eden. There, they found another piece of the Gortis robot, as well as the last surviving man on the Gladiator's murder bucket list. The con artist said nothing as the Gladiator prepared to take her revenge. Lucky for him, it was that moment that Valerie chose to strike. Outgunned and outmaneuvered, the con artist and salaryman were forced to surrender. Now, They were working for Valerie, and their first job was likely to be their last. Oh, awesome. Yeah, let's let's do that. Can't wait. Are you thinking? It looks like you're you're thinking. That suit he's wearing. It looks familiar, but I I can't place it. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. What the hell is this guy getting out of all this? I can't figure it out. This endless march down memory lane. There's gotta be a reason for it. He wants a vault. Why else would he be collecting Gordas pieces? He's just like every idiot on Pandora looking to strike it rich. Aren't, uh, aren't you kind of, you know, vault hunting now? Are you calling me an idiot? Yeah, that's what I did there. Yeah. I feel like we should do something. If we get to those hills, maybe we could lose him. Yes. I don't know. What's he gonna do, huh? Shoot us both? I seriously doubt that. Don't be stupid. He has a gun. So? He clearly needs us for something. If he wanted to shoot us, he already would have. <laughs> I think all those shots to the head are taking their toll. That hasn't helped. I'm making a break for it. And you should too. Remember, <laughs> zigzag when you run, okay? Hit up. Makes you harder to hit. That sounds stupid. It's not stupid. It's... It's genius. All right. Go on the three. One... Three, go! That's a weird way around. He's zigzagging. It apparently makes him harder to hit. Of course. What the hell was that? I don't know! We need a shower. Get to the shelter. What's that? I 
this again. Clearly, I can't trust you two. But I didn't even run. And that's why you're still conscious. So, you just gave away Gordas. She was taken. And you were stuck under Valerie's gun. It was a rocket launcher, okay? It was massive. Even for her. There, there, little one. No need to be upset. I'll answer your questions. Please, just promise that you won't hurt anyone. Of course, dear. I don't want to hurt anyone that's being cooperative. Don't trust her, Gordas. Oh, don't listen to her. She's just being sore. Besides, if you don't tell me, I have to start hurting people again. And you don't want that, do you? No! Now, tell me about the Vault of the Traveler. The, the Vault of the Traveler teleports all over the universe, only staying in one spot for a few minutes before blinking away. But once I have my last piece, the beacon that's up on Helios, I can summon the Vault and hold it here, and you collect treasure or something. What does the beacon look like? I... I don't know. But I'll know it when I see it. That's what happened with the last piece. Well, that's some exciting news. Thank you, Gordas. You're... You're welcome. Can I get away from you now? Of course. <laughs> look at you, Fiona. Just so angry. Is this about Athena? You're feeling you guilty. That's what. Leave her alone! You can't blame yourself. Athena made her own bed. That didn't need to happen. She had nothing to do with this. She was keeping me from getting to you. So she had everything to do with this. Enough about Athena. Let's talk about what you and your friends. Hey, what are you doing with him? There's no need for guns. I've come to strike an accord. A what? What are the terms? It's rather simple, really. I turn over this Hyperion number cruncher, and you allow me to return to my work unharmed. I knew we couldn't trust you. That's all you want? Yes. I just... Wish to be left alone. I wish Athena got to kill you. Oh, you made that very clear, young lady. Very clear. You've got a deal. Ah, all right, all right. Then I shall make my leave. I will remember this. I suspected you would. Vaughn! You all right? Ah, I've been better. Now listen up. Under normal circumstances, your rotting corpses would already be getting torn apart by skags right now. But these are not normal circumstances. And with that last piece being on Helios, I can't think of a better crew than a pair of Pandoran con artists and a Hyperion stooge to figure out a way to get it for me. What do you say? And I'll give you a hint. The only right answer is yes. This is not a negotiation. What's in it for us? What's in it for you? Well, for starters. <gasps> things like this will stop happening. Does that work for you? Or do you think we should negotiate more? Uh, hey! What's it gonna be, Fiona? Uh, somebody take this out. Hey! You said you wouldn't hurt anyone! No, 
I said I didn't want to hurt anyone that cooperates. Stop! Yes, whatever you want. Please, just... Just leave him alone. I'm glad we were able to work this out. Patch up the nerd. Don't want him bleeding out on us. Oh great, getting dragged away some more. I should be getting used to this by now. Son. Yeah? Be a dear and help them come up with a plan. Yes, ma'am. Let's get cracking. I'm telling you, it's not possible. We can't do this. That's not an option. Neither is getting ourselves killed. One way or another, we're gonna figure out how to pull this off. <sighs> okay, let's start with how we're gonna get there. Okay, well, okay, come This on. isn't the first time we've had to get creative. I know what we have to do. Thank you. All right, guys, it boils down to this. Somehow we've got to get to Helios, infiltrate Hyperion, and steal Gordus's vault beacon. Sorry, that was breakfast. <clears throat> Sorry. Without getting ourselves killed. No shit, moron. I just said that like 30 seconds ago. Everyone knows what we have to do. We're just trying to figure out how to do it. Okay, okay. If you stop being so negative, maybe we How's can make some progress. your tum-tum there, buddy? That'll teach work. you to hit the taco okay, truck. Right now, I don't see how that's gonna <sighs> Wow, you we'll got the magic, together, kid. They should bottle the stuff. So Call it weak wrong. sauce. And that's why we have to drill down Actually, on every aspect of the mission. Yeah, so of course fault? you could. Is that a yes a or no? What? You think old Jack would leave his I'd meat buddy him. hanging? Great. Real helpful. I honestly don't reality. know how to answer That's that. All I'm saying. The reality all right, is I, that I we know don't we've had our differences, I and I'll admit I can get pretty grouchy when I don't get my own way. But to maximize our chances, I'm ready to bury it. Alright. You know we can't do this. a metaphorical hatchet, especially because I know I don't really have any hands right now. But I know we have oh, to do this Which is a real no, bitch, I tell you what. You help us out, and you can consider that hatchet good and buried. Then it's a deal, Daddy-o. Stick with a verbal agreement, shall we? Get what I'm saying is this, I got your beacon somewhere in my office. Get in there, and it's mission accomplished, baby. I just don't see how we're gonna do this. You don't get that beacon. You're all as good as dead. You're not helping. Oh, great. Captain Obvious wants to speak. Uh, I believe I have some information that is relevant to your interests. The beacon is in Handsome Jack's office. You pulled that out of your ass. Well, check it out, smart guy. Run it by Gordis. Fine. Hey, put the little robot on. Listen, you got access to a map of Helios? See if you can focus your scan for the beacon in Handsome Jack's old office. Beacon detected! We got a winner! I'm sending Reed to location data now. Let's see what we have here. Enhance? Oh, so you can say it. You're shitting me. I wouldn't know how. That whole sector must be crawling with guards. Hey, give me one reason why you think we could possibly break in. <laughs> How many people you gotta kill? I get that you're scared. The I am too, but working together, I think we have a shot. Great! Sign me up. I don't know how we're gonna get through this. Teamwork. That's how. Then you better have a damn good plan. Oh. It's killer. Behold! Helios! Okay. Now how do we get there? Oh, well, the Helios is in space, so we need a spaceship, obviously. Well, we don't exactly have one lying around. Hey, what about Scooter? He said we could call him anytime. Well, you got yourself a rocket man, miss. And then it's off to Helios. Pandora, we have lift off. Before we dock, I'll tell a vet we've arrived. She'll help us. Then why not call her now? Well, the less she knows, the safer she is. 
Divet, we're back. Awesome, Reese. You're a hero. I'll tell the guards to let you through. At ease, soldier. Then I'll disable the security system. I am a living god. Fiona, you'll take Sasha and Gordis and go to the hub of heroism. Now, up on Helios, Jack's office is a museum. Hallowed ground. Not even Vasquez had access. Looks like the only sure access is the VIP tour. Meet your new tour guides. From there, we'll get into Jack's office, where I'll- <laughs> hang on. Uh, you'll need me for that, obviously. Once inside, Gordis will ID the piece. Wow! This place is huge! This way, please! And to the victors go the spoils. Told you. <laughs> Killer plan. Wait a minute. How are you gonna pull any of this off? Hyperion wants you dead. Then I better go as someone else. And for the grand finale... I'll digestruct a vast skies. Hyperion's gonna want proof that Reese is dead. We'll use Vasquez's body. They'll never know the difference. This could actually maybe work. So I guess all that's left is pitching the plan to Valerie. She'll go for it. And getting me to hold him. And I'll go to Scooters. Wait a second. Hmm? So how did you figure out the pieces in Jack's office? Don't tell him, princess! They'll sabotage the whole freaking mission! It just came out of nowhere. Don't do it! You'll only make things way worse. Well, it took me a minute to search my memory files, but boom! What do you know? It was right there all along. Huh. Sounds... Technology. Gotta love it. Reese, if there's something you need to get off your chest, we're listening. You gotta admit, it was pretty weird when you passed out after we left the security office. What we're saying is that even if we could figure out a way to undertake this mission, we need to know you're 100%. Which you're clearly not. We're worried about you. Yeah, it definitely seems like something's up. Here's why you don't need to worry. Because we're friggin' Team Awesome! And August, that's why. Together, nothing can stop us. Huh? Bring it in. We're the real thing, let's hug it out. Um, don't no. look at me. I'll kill you. G go team! <laughs> All right, Valerie signed off on the plan. Reese is going with Finch and Kroger. The rest of us are off to Hollow Point to get this thing spacey. Let's get to work. <laughs>